Google, how to write a romance novel. I speak the words into the microphone of my notepad and I wait for a response. It takes my computer several minutes before I get a screen that says, Wiki how? Hmm, I've never seen that before. How many Wikipedia resources are out there? I know we have Wikipedia, which is the encyclopedia that is online that you can search any topic, any subject, and most times you will get a response. I've also recently come across Wikimedia Common, which is an online website that showcases all of the free-to-use images that are available through Wikimedia. And now I'm discovering that there is a how-to Wikipedia, which allows me to find out how to do a lot of different things. And today, I want to learn how to write a romance novel. So, let's see what happens. I softly type in, one letter at a time, the word, how to write a romance novel. And what comes up is this, how to write a romance novel, how to write a lesbian romance novel, fiction writing. So of the three choices, I pick the top one. I tap the screen and then I wait. And what comes up is How to Write a Romance Novel, co-authored by Stephanie Wong Kin, updated August the 1st, 2023. Writing a romance novel is a great way to practice creating compelling characters and believable relationships. Our guide will help you get started. From drafting an outline to crafting the perfect romantic ending. Hmm, that sounds like good information. So let's read on. WikiHow now mentions the first thing to do. Brainstorming ideas for your novel. One, use a real life romantic experience as inspiration. Draw from your own romantic experiences in life and adapt them for your novel. Fictionalize a chance encounter you had on vacation or a special moment you experienced with your partner. Okay, I can agree with that first bit of advice. Now, let's see. We scroll past the pictures of a man watching a romantic television show. And I come to number two. Use romantic movies or television shows as inspiration. You can also reference romantic movies or television shows that you enjoy watching. Make your own version of a romantic movie that you like. Reimagine a romance on TV, but use and create different characters. Now I see an image of a beautiful blonde woman and a handsome Caucasian man. Three, create an engaging main character. Have a main character that is relatable and likable for readers. The main character, who is usually also the narrator, should be welcoming and accessible to your audience. They should feel unique and interesting to your reader. More romantic images of a man kissing a woman's hand appear on the screen. Four, focus on a particular type of romance novel. There are many different types of romance novels, from historical romance to young adult romance to paranormal romance. Decide which type you'd like to write about. Choose a type that fits your story idea so that you can cater to your audience. Now I see an image of a woman reading the Twilight series by Stephanie Myers. Five, read examples of romance novels. Get a better sense of the genre by reading romance novels that are considered successful and well done. Go to your local library or bookstore and pick up a few romance novels. Now we are getting to the gritty part of this online article. Writing the novel. Now I see an image of a man intensely staring at a woman. Hmm, 
Is this the first encounter? Let's see. One, put your own spin on a romance formula. In romance, there is a tried and true formula. Girl meets boy. Girl loses boy. Girl gets boy. To make your romance novel stand out, put your own spin or approach on the formula that your story is following to make it fresh and new. Now I see an image of a man hugging a woman on a park bench as they sit and look at the scenery. Two, have a strong setting. Setting is a key element in a successful romance novel. The setting should be front and center throughout the story. It should dedicate or dictate how the characters speak and how they interact with each other and the world in which they live. In reading that bit of information, I am thinking about my Christmas stories and how it is all about the Christmas season and about the setting. And obviously you want snow and you want a beautiful, cozy home environment and you want to smell fresh cookies baking in the background. That is what I think of when I think about writing a Christmas holiday romance. As we continue this article, it says three, create a central conflict. Romance readers love a detailed, major conflict that drives the story forward. The conflict should be believable and prevent the main character and the love interest from getting together. The conflict should also be clear and easy for the reader to follow. Now, I want to pause before I get to the steamy part of writing a romance novel. And I want to ask you. What do you think of this online article? Do you think it's helpful? Do you think it's useful? If so, leave a comment below and let me know your feelings about it. Shall we continue? Okay, four, consider including sex scenes. Not all romances have sex scenes. If you do include them, however, make sure that there is an emotional and vivid side to it. You don't have to be graphic unless that's the type of book that you're writing. Now I see an image of a woman thinking, and there's a huge bubble that says cliche. And then there is a red circle with a line going through it, which means you should not do this. You should avoid cliches. Writing romance is popular, but many cliches can populate these books. So you want to be very careful in including them. And if you do, put your own spin on the cliche. Claim it and make it your own. Now I see a couple that look like they are about to get married. She has the wedding veil on and he has his tux. Number six, wrap up the novel with a satisfying ending. Can I repeat this? Wrap up the novel with a satisfying ending. A good romance novel will end on a variation of happily ever after or happily for now. But you, as the writer, want to fulfill your promise to your reader. You want to deliver a satisfying and gratifying ending. Here are some closing tips on polishing your novel up. Read the novel that you have written aloud so that you can hear it clearly and you can decide whether you like the flow of it. Two, show the novel to others to get feedback, which is very important. You may ask a friend, a family member, or a peer to read your novel and to give honest feedback. Three, revise the novel. This is the part that I love the most. I'm shocked to say this, but editing is my favorite part of writing because you can take a rough draft where everything is just thrown in there and somewhat disorganized and you can go and make it and tailor it to your liking. You can Move the beginning of the story to the middle if you feel that that is a better flow or a better approach. 
or you can just reconstruct your novel. During this editing process, you can eliminate unnecessary paragraphs where the information is just repetitious. You now have the advantage of working on a rough draft where you can make corrections anytime you see a discrepancy in your story. As I said, I love the editing process because it can take a rough manuscript and have it look so much more polished and sound so much better than the original product. Thank you for joining me on my platform. I hope this video has been helpful. And as always, I'm wishing you love, peace, joy, and happiness. Until next time, thank you and bye-bye.